being addicted to something isn't just about the fact that it feels so good that you want to do it over and over again. And that's because of this pleasure pain balance that underlies motivation. So let's look a little bit closer at the pleasure pain balance because therein lies the tools for you to be able to control motivation toward healthy things and avoid motivated behaviors towards things that are destructive for you. The way that addiction works and the way that motivation works generally in the non-addictive setting is that when you anticipate something, a little bit of dopamine is released. And then when you reach that thing, you engage in that thing, the amount of dopamine goes up even further. But as you repeatedly pursue a behavior and you repeatedly engage with a particular thing, let's say you love running or you love chocolate. As you eat a piece of chocolate, Believe it or not, it tastes good. And then there's a shift away from activation of dopamine. And there are other chemicals that are released that trigger a low level sense of pain. Now you might not feel it as physical pain, but the craving that you feel is both one part dopamine and one part the mirror image of dopamine, which is the pain or the craving for yet another piece of chocolate. And this is a very important and subtle feature of the dopamine system that's not often discussed. People always talk about just as pleasure. You love social media, so it gives you dopamine and so you engage in that. You like chocolate, it releases dopamine, so you do that. But for every bit of dopamine that's released, there's another circuit in the brain that creates, you can think of it as kind of like a downward deflection in pleasure. So you engage in something you really want and there's an increase in pleasure. And then there's a, without you doing anything, there's a mirror image of that, which is a downward deflection in pleasure, which we're calling pain. So for every bit of pleasure, there is a mirror image experience of pain and they overlap in time very closely. So it's sometimes hard to sense this, but try it. The next time you eat something really delicious, you'll take a bite. It tastes delicious. And part of the experience is to want more of that thing. This is true for any pleasureful experience.